What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Cammy. And your boy, King. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So What's today, guys. We up here at Benihana's for my birthday weekend. Man, it's about to be crazy. First time at Benihana's, so about to cook up some food in front of us. Check it out. We're excited. If you guys like this kitchen. video, make sure you guys like, comment, and stuff. subscribe. It's how we can. Excited. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. This is so nice. It's a nice little vibe. That sounds good. I think I'm going to try the pumpkin spice margarita. Yeah, margarita. Oh, then look, they got a big one. The baby hurricane. Or the blue ocean for two or more. Hey, how about three balls the last time? First time? First time? No way! Are you 
Are you sure? I thought I seen you here last week with the homeboys. Oh. <laughs> somebody else, huh? Somebody else, huh? Well, welcome, King. Welcome, huh? And welcome, Liz. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to mention a couple very important things before I start. And the first thing I'd like to mention, folks, is very, very important. And the thing I'd like to mention, folks, I'd like to say is, uh, Hey, everybody, let's all say happy birthday to King I Love! Yeah. Happy birthday! Right in with the Benihana Red Walls behind me. Yeah. All right, folks, let's get things started. Let's get things started, huh? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just get to introduce myself. My name is Chef KP, and I'll be your chef for tonight. Japanese, Benihana Pico de Gallo. Ow! Thanks, you guys. I'm gonna introduce you guys to a couple friends of mine. These friends of mine like to help me out here on Benihana Grill or dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> I see it, huh? Introducing a little dance group called the Egg Roll Crew. Look at them roll, huh? Look at them roll. Bunch of cool guys on the table today, huh? Now, really quick, I'm gonna introduce you guys to another friend right here. He's very popular here on the Benihana Dance Floor. And his name is Mr. Humpty Dumpty! <laughs> Sean loves a little dance movie, a dance room called the Egg Boogie. He wants to do a little dance off against me, so we're gonna do a little dance challenge. So folks with little lights and little music, his dance is gonna look and sound a little like this. <laughs> around the grill, around the grill, around the grill. <laughs> Today, Humpty Dumpty, that's a different Humpty Dumpty story. I'm sure you guys knew that, huh? So like I said, we're gonna do a little dance off, like I said. So here's my dance move. Ready? Here's my move. Ready, bro. No. So, all right, whatever. Here we go. All right, you guys. Obviously, you guys can tell that I'm not a good dancer. You're gonna Humpty Dumpty. A little dance partner, because you guys know it takes two to tango, huh? You guys know that, huh? Here we go. Ready, here you go. One, two, and three. Hello. Oh, right. Who's the real Humpty Dumpty? I want to never know. We we'll never know, huh? Now we're going to crack these eggs right here in the bowl. We're going to make sure there's no eggs up there because we didn't ask for a McDonald's breakfast today, right, King? That's right. Maybe tomorrow morning, huh? Now you guys want to real quick while I'm whipping up these eggs, I'm going to let you guys in a little bit about ourselves right here. Benny Hanna's about our Tempanyaki chefs. Now a lot of our chefs here, folks, like to do a lot of crazy tricks. You guys a lot of crazy tricks. And to become a Tempanyaki chef, some of our chefs like to uh, whisk it all, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of whisking. So we're going to drop this egg right here, folks. It's with a little egg drop. Now, folks, we're going to do that. These eggs are going to hit the egg, but that's going to do that little waste because it took a little faster. Now we're going to get rid of these eggshells out of the way. 
Also, we're going to move these bad boys out of the way, too. I know, I know. They're starting to look like an omelet. But at least it's still the big on our egg roll. Crew, you get it? We just broke the mob. Oh, oh. Now we're going to get rid of these eggshells right here because we need all the space we can get, right, King? Yes, sir. That's right, that's right. So that's why we're going to have to go ready on our soon right here.
Now we're gonna drop down. We have some soy sauce right here, folks. We have some very, very, very high sodium soy sauce for you guys. That's some high sodium, huh? So we're gonna drop it down to some low, low, low sodium for you, King. Don't worry. We have high sodium. We have low sodium. High sodium, low sodium, high sodium, low sodium. Same thing, same thing. All right, all right, folks. Now we're gonna drop down, it's a very popular ingredient right here. We have this other garlic butter. Oh, yeah. A little bit more for now, why not, huh? Next one, we're gonna drop down. It's our last ingredient, folks, a little bit for this morning. We have this some bird food. <laughs> Delivered straight from Sesame Street. Straight from the homie's big bird himself. You know the homie's big bird, right? Hey, what's up, homie? Not that guy, huh? Not that guy. So we're gonna start mixing all this up now, you guys. And to be honest, it looks like I'm missing one last ingredient, folks. One last ingredient. And that's like, this last ingredient is kind of off the menu, to be honest. So this last ingredient, folks, was taught actually from my sensei. Ever since I was learning how to become a bad little chef. Now my sensei would always, always, always tell me that everything, everything you cook, is that you always, always, always cook with a lot of love. And I'll tell my sensei, Sensei, why don't you cook with love? That's just stupid. And my sensei would tell me, Shut your mouth. True story, huh? Now, my sensei would always tell me that if you don't cook with enough love, you don't get enough what? If you don't cook with love, you don't get what? No, you don't have to answer everything. I think you already know. I think you already know. What? If you don't cook with enough love, you don't get what? No? If you don't cook up with love, you don't get what? I like that one. <laughs> you don't get no food. No. You say if you don't cook with enough love, you don't get no flavor. So here's an example of that flavor of love for you guys. Hey, King, what does this look like for you? What does it look like, though? It's like a heart. No, it's fried rice. <laughs> yeah, but he said if you don't cook enough love, here's a flavor, so here's a flavor of love for you guys. Aw, oh, Chef KP, why you're so corny? I know my heart's a little cricket, folks, but don't worry, it still looks the same, right, fellas? Now, my sister did tell me if you cook with a lot of love, you do get a lot of flavor. But one thing they never really told me, though, that you kind of kept a secret from me, that if you cook with a lot of love, you also might get one of these. Does that make sense what you guys call us a heartburn, huh? You know what I'm talking about, huh? You know what I'm talking about? You guys get that? Alive. He likes to move and move it. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, that's a lot of love right there. Not a broken heart. So take it easy, take it easy. Oh, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let you guys know that this is pretty much everything right here in the first course, which is our fried rice. Next, we're going to start moving on to the second and third course, folks, which is our appetizer our veggies, and our protein. So you guys can have your rice now. You can save it towards the end. Up to you, your choice. Now, I'm hungry. Yeah. I like eating everything separately. It's kind of cool. Okay. 
You guys, this is the best fried rice I ever had. Two out of ten. I love the onion. Everything is just goes so well together. I love it so much. Ten out of ten. Before you know what this is already, if you guys did not know, there's actually an active volcano here in Anaheim. They say it's bigger than Yellowstone. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to ask, is there any celebrations right here? Graduations, divorces, alimony? Birthday. Birthday? Birthday. All right, so you, you get to decide, sir, a big volcano or a little volcano, sir? Big volcano. Big volcano? <laughs> Moving to the hot part of our grill, our Benny Hanna Jack our Japanese tequila. All right, everybody sign the waiver before coming in. All right, we're all good on that. All right, if you guys are wearing too much hairspray, too much cologne, too much perfume, please step back. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's the Veniano Express where we go with Flavor Town! Inside of Argentina. You guys do not worry, calories do not count here at Benihana. Why it starts tomorrow, right? You guys, please give me one second. You didn't leave a knife with me. Mushroom tastes good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, man. Maybe you are going to get it. It's weird. Everybody wears medium rare food. Please 
take this any much more? Yes. Garlic butter? Yes. Thank you. Beef turkey right here, man. Thank you. It's so good. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try. Are you missing any more? Garlic butter as well. I got Sherbert King of Vanilla. What's up, what's up, what's up, you two? We back up here in, uh, what's it? Not, very, not scary car. Like, get up into this uh, Halloween fest. You can't see what's cracking up in here. So let's get it. Let's go this way. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to see some ghosts. Standing around having a drink. Where's the bar? They sitting around. See? Oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know where you can go. 
Just having a sip on it. Yeah, all the rides are mostly closed if you look behind you. 